You okay, buddy? Get off of there. You know, I... Yeah. Okay. I get a lot of inspiration from a ton of different places when I cook. And this inspiration for this dish is really cool. It's one of my favorite movies. So here it is, ladies and gentlemen, my spicy peanut noodle bowl. So the sauce is really simple. I like doing it in a wok because it's all about peanuts and noodles. And I find, you know, peanuts, noodles, cook it in a wok, why not? So the first thing I like to start with is a little bit of canola oil and get some ginger in there and get the ginger sizzling. And the ginger is so flavorful that when it hits the oil, it really starts to season the oil and that's how you build big flavor quickly. So get the ginger in there rolling and then some onion. You can use whatever onion you have lying around. I happen to have shallots. They're a nice softer onion and then you start cooking it in ginger oil and we're talking serious flavor and that can go in with some garlic. And this is pretty easy. This is the base to the peanut sauce and you kind of can't leave it out. You need the ginger, the onion, and the garlic. You just want to mix it around and soften up the vegetable. Oh my God, it smells so good. Okay, so the flavor engagement has started. The vegetables are starting to soften up and now it's time to build the sauce. And it's so simple to build a killer peanut sauce. So the first thing that goes in is a little bit of coconut milk. And here's a great tip. If you're gonna make a peanut sauce, start with the liquid and then add the peanut butter and the peanut butter will thicken it up. If you go peanut first, the peanut butter likes to seize. It'll just freeze. So you wanna start with the coconut milk and then the peanut butter. A Little bit of peanut butter in there. I like to use chunky peanut butter, why? Because there's a ton of texture and that's what I had on toast in the morning. So why not? Put the chunky peanut butter in. And then the only other liquids are a little bit of soya sauce. It kind of gives it that salty kick. And to play with the sweetness and the coconut, and the saltiness in the soya, put a shot of sugar in there and it gives it really good balance. And to balance out the sugar even more, so here's your first hint at what movie inspired me to make this, chilies. Now you can pick the red or the blue. I like both, so a little bit of sambal. It's a liquid chili paste that has a bit of garlic in it and for some nice big bold heat, chili flakes. The chili flakes give it a nice amount of heat and the sambal gives it heat and flavor. So the sauce is basically done. Let it cook down. It's super balanced. It's got creamy coconut in it, soya, some spice, ginger, onions, garlic, thick, rich peanut butter. And you can see already it's building flavor and getting nice and thick. So the noodle, you can use whatever's lying around. I've even used like Italian pasta noodle, but I love the egg noodle. It's got great structure. It's got magnificent chew to it. And the best part is it cooks up in like two minutes. So that's what I like to do. I like to get the sauce nice and cooked, fully balanced, and then cook the noodles. Once the noodles are done, then you're eating. Just some boiling salted water, put the noodles in there, let them cook. And these egg noodles are great. They're really nice and chewy and they cook up in a flash. Hello? Hello, are you there? You there? There you are. All right, don't drain the noodles too much. You want a little bit of that water in there for the sauce because the peanuts get really nice and thick. And then I always, this is a really good tip. I put a little bit of noodles in and then mix it up because sometimes I put too much noodle in. I do it all the time and then I don't have enough sauce. So that's a really good tip. Get the noodles in there. Make sure that you have enough sauce and then you know what? That's perfect, no more noodle. These egg noodles are so delicious and the peanut sauce is so sticky and thick that it just clings onto those noodles. And a little bit of the cooking water too has some starch in it and it helps make the noodle really nice and sticky. Okay, awesome. So the plate for this is pretty simple. There's so much going on, but for me, it's all about the garnish. You okay, buddy? Get off of there. You know, I Okay. <laughs> a nice tall pile of sticky, spicy peanut noodles. It's good on a rainy day, it's good on a sunny day, it's great when you're happy, it's better when you're sad, you know? This is a pasta for any time. 
Okay, so just to garnish it, I like some toasted sesame seeds for some crunch because that's pretty soft and it's really sticky and I'm all about the texture. So if you put some sesame seeds in there and you start eating the noodles, then you start getting crunch and pops, little grenades of flavor. And because it's all about the peanut sauce, some salted peanuts on the top and cilantro. It's all about the balance. You eat this, you get a fragrant blast of cilantro. It just kind of sets the tone and sets the mood of the noodle bowl. Yes. And then some bean sprouts, because bean sprouts are really nice and crunchy. And then to finish it, a nice squeeze of lime. Because the sauce is so decadent, you just want to kind of put a little sunshine in its life. So a squeeze of lime, boom. It's delicious, it's fast. You probably have most of the stuff already in your pantry, and the proof is in the pudding, baby. It's delicious. There's just something so satisfying about that smell. And I love a noodle when it's just enough sauce to stick to it. Man. It's got some kick. It's definitely got some kick. I just got a bit of kick. <laughs> I'm just gonna dab my lip a little bit. Ooh. Ooh. Papa. Mm. Ready? <laughs> The sauce is really nice and decadent, and then you get these little pops of crunch from the sesame and the peanuts and the bean sprouts. And then honestly, we just put a squeeze of lime on it. It kind of cuts a bit of that pasta out, and it pairs really well with the peanuts. It's spicy, but I like it. It's kind of that heat where you're eating it, and you keep on wanting to go back for more because it's warm, so you like more, 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 and then pretty soon the bowl's gone and your head's on fire. Woo! But it's so good. I want to talk into that and eat the whole thing. Man, it's pretty magical. All right, guys, you know the deal. If you didn't figure out the inspiration already for this spicy peanut noodle bowl, hit the link. As always, you know me, I'm going to give you the recipe and make sure to like and subscribe. So, do we have any milk? Is there milk here? I'm going to go change my shorts. Thank you.